we have the real battery item cells inside 3.6 kilowatts we have this foam padding at the top and they re always test their batteries to be sure they are okay before sending hands on this lift so you can see the white box that's the battery in its full beauty so on the top you have the switch you have this terminals come with this screen okay so you can see the screen always show the voltage and an estimate uh, percentage so the brand there are zero four s meaning you have four cells inside and you have 12 volt which is 12.8 and 280 ampere life po4 the capacity here is 3.584 the recommended voltage range is from 11 to 14.4 you have a 200 amps bms inside and this bms is a bluetooth bms standard charge and this charge is 100 amps so up to 10 parallel and the protection is ip52 27 kg so i've connected it to a 1 kV inverter that can charge at 40 amps let's turn on the batteries now okay good so the battery is turned on okay so this is 280 amps now it's set so i will set the capacity remaining to 100 percent so we just leave it there so now it's 100%, so we'll start charging it up. This is the reason why we use only the junk tech measurement to do our testing. You can see it has a clamp meter and it's showing exactly the same 41.3. The batteries are fully charged. So we have reset all this to zero. Everything is zero now and we'll start the capacity test. So we'll log into the BMS app and see the cell voltages. So you can see the battery is 100% and the initial capacity it came with was 293 amp hours so we'll also be discharging this battery to see our own capacity the resting voltage is 13.5 let me turn on the inverter okay so this is a 1 kva inverter i'll be using the 1.5 horsepower inverter ac as my test so i'll be setting the ac to 0 0.5 so you can see this is the ac is on l1 Okay, so you can see it's on L1 and on 16 degrees. So if you are to use this battery and turn on your AC and put it on L1, how long can you run a 3.6 kilowatt hours lithium batteries for? This is one KVA, which can do up to 850 watts. So it will be able to power. So I'll be setting the cutoff for this to 11 volts. So we can set it as low as 10. So let's set it to 10. So you can see the, inver the inverter AC has kicked in. Okay, you can see it has kicked in and you can see the power. So this is it. And see the power consumption is ramping up so it's around 500 watts now you can see here is about 10 amp hours consumed this is 2 pm and uh, let's see how long this will run for so right now we have done 10 percent one hour 30 minutes into the test we have done 75 amp hours this is 547 we have done 160 amp hours the consumption there is about 460 watt just a quick update on this so you can see we wired this guy here okay so this is the connection we are actually using this battery it's been four hours now so you can see four hours now that we've been running this ac okay so 178 amp hours so we started this test around two so you can see we're consuming about 450 watt per hour so the next hour we consume 500 watts per hour so the next hour that's four to five 500 watts per hour let's go and see this is 500 watts per hour as well so this is the time we are in now six to seven pm five hours now so five hours and we have done 231 amp hours so it's been exactly six hours that we started this test okay running this uh inverter ac one or uh, 1.5 horsepower through this inverter okay so you can see the consumption there so that's about 500 watt thereabout and we are at four percent according to the rated capacity but we are still going 
uh, on this test so 266 amp hours done 278 amp hours and you can see here we are at 11.9 volt we have reached full capacity which is 280 amp hours okay so here you can see we have reached the full capacity but we got to the full capacity at 11.8 volt okay so you can see let's see the room temperature so now you can see so the room temperature currently is at 22 degrees with one of these battery you can run the inverter ac for six hours and some minutes if you put it on low power mode which is gem mode and on l1 okay good result so the next thing we are doing is to shut this battery down so let's see at what voltage will this shut down so now we are discharging at about 50 amps the bms is showing that we have 2.8 amp hours remaining but we're still going let's see what capacity we are able to get at the end of the day the remaining capacity is just stuck at 2.8 and it's reading just one percent and that is just stuck so it's not changing anymore but our cycle capacity is increasing 284 okay so you can see if we subtract it from our initial this thing you see that we've done 284 which is correct with what this is showing so you can also see here that we have done 284 but the bms is stuck at one percent 286 there about this capacity is just stuck at one percent but and see cycle capacity keeps increasing because we are still cycling the battery as you can see here 286 at 11 volts 286 so there's an alarm battery low inverter will shut off any moment because you can see that voltage is saying that we have 10 volts okay so 10.3 10.3 volts so you can see so which one we cut off first let's see so exactly 287 287 will be the final capacity here because the inverter will shut off any moment 57 amps wow let's see which one we shut off is it the inverter or the bms Let's see which one will go first. Oh, really? So that's the end of the test. So you can see the inverter shut down. So you can see the BMS is still active. The BMS is still active. It says charge MOSFET on, discharge MOSFET on. That's why this shunt is still on because the battery is working so here you can see the cycle count is now 581 so if you recall we started at this so let's see 581.3 okay so this is exactly what we have on the bms okay so this is it we started at 293 and now you can see we have 581.3 and also the result tallies with what we have on this shunt.